Yeah, Adam, you want to take us to our first question? Of yeah, the we got we got Kathy who has a great question about iCloud encryption. This is the one we were alluding to earlier. She says, "I was a long time listener of the MacCast and started listening to MGG when Adam moved over." Well, thank you for coming along. Yeah, I love the show, although I do miss Adam's Apple News summary. Well, maybe we can do something about that eventually. Sure. Um, my question is related to cloud backups, specifically iCloud. I am more aligned with Adam's philosophy of multiple backups. Good. However, I restrict cloud backups to non-personal information. In other words, I have no off-site backup for my financial documents. According to Apple's website, no one else can access your end-to-end -end encrypted data, not even Apple. And this data remains secure in the case of a data breach in the cloud. My concern is that should this policy change or should there be a technical glitch, all my financial documents would be exposed. I was considering compressing my financial docs into a tar file and encrypting that before pushing to iCloud. My thoughts are at least my files would not be exposed if iCloud policies or conditions should change. So the question is, do you see any technical issues with doing this? Any encryption method recommendations? Thanks for your help and suggestions, Kathy. Um, that's a great question. And I'm yeah. happy that Kathy followed you over here, Adam. This is amazing. Uh, so I, I think the logic is sound on this, right? If you want to store something on someone else's server and be certain that they would never be able to get at that data, uh, then encrypting that data before you ever put it on their server uh, with, with a key that only you have and you know that only you have uh, makes perfect sense. And certainly you could use tar I mean, that's the, that's the nerdy way to go. And there's, we love that here, right? But you could use tar to do that and that would work fine. But I think an easier way and one that requires less recurring maintenance because you'd have to be like, either you'd have to either script this or you'd have to tar up the file every time you wanted to, you know, you made an update to it. Instead of doing all that, Make an encrypted disk image. You use that, use disk utility. You can do that. You make it encrypted, give it a password. St save that encrypted image in a folder that's automatically synced to iCloud. Inside that encrypted disk image, you put all of your financial files. When you want to edit one of your files, you open up the disk image, typing in your key to unencrypt it, and then just manipulate the files on the drive like you normally would. And as you do that, the drive will update and the drive will sync to iCloud. And it would be worth testing this to make sure that, you know, it, it's okay because syncing a disk image could be weird. But that's where I would start. I would experiment with that and uh, <laughs> see how it goes. I don't know. There's a couple was, Discord suggestions already, too. Okay. The Proton yeah, Drive is uh, suggested by Kiwi Graham. And uh, Tennessee Papa suggests Cryptometer to encrypt all your data to the cloud, even on iCloud. Not familiar like with it. either one of those, but... Uh, Yep. Yep. I was I was going to comment on Dave's uh, response because that's exactly what I've been doing for years. Oh. I have an encrypted disk image. I just call it secure documents. It's in my documents folder, um, which syncs. Uh, and e even better than having to enter your password, if you save that password to your uh, keychain, it will just mount. Like you can just mount that drive and not have to enter a password every time you could also automate mounting of that volume yes um, i just do it when i'm gonna do that the other thing is that i keep in there so i not only documents but i use for um i use paperless for putting in all of scanning in all my like documents so i don't have to keep them in file folders or whatever yeah, and yeah. i organize everything in that uh great application from now i'm gonna forget the name of the company um but i've been using that for years and i store my paperless library because it uses a library file kind of like uh, iPhoto or whatever in that encrypted disk image as well. So all those documents are encrypted in there and then go up to iCloud. But I wanted to comment also on the iCloud encryption stuff like we were talking about earlier. So iCloud has something called advanced data protection. And when you turn that on, basically everything that goes to iCloud, almost everything, iCloud mail is, is an exception, so you need to be aware of that. But almost everything is then end-to-end -end encrypted, and the keys are stored and attached to your devices locally. So when Apple says they cannot decrypt or read those files, if you're using advanced uh, in 
data protection, then they will not be able to do that because they don't have access to your, they literally don't have the keys. They cannot do anything. And so when you set that up, you also want to probably set up the feature like I did this with my wife. You can set up, you know, the ability for her, if something happens to me, to take over my devices and my keys. You can um, create backup uh, keys that you can put in a, in a, you know, storage, safe storage location like a, a bank box or whatever. Sure. So, yeah. Yeah. And there's a list on there that shows you uh, the differences between having this on and not having this on. So it'll show you what services are just encrypted in transit where Apple has the keys and then what ones when you turn this on are flipped over. So there's there's a oh, is this how to turn it on? I, I found I found an article about how to turn it on and, and some of that stuff. Yeah, so I have some links the in yeah. the note. There's oh, a link okay, to the advanced data uh protection and there is a table that shows you everything and pretty much once you turn on advanced data encryption everything is end -end encrypted i think other than uh icloud mail got it got it and that's still encrypted in transit and on apple servers but i think in that case the keys are still stored with apple so with apple that would make sense yeah yeah. exactly and i think that's mainly so they can you know you can read your emails and stuff when you're logged into iCloud. Yep. Yeah, yeah this go. yeah, this chart that they have is great. Yeah, the iCloud mail they talk uh, about. Oh, it looks has, like yeah, ma- mail, calendars and contacts are stored with Apple. And again, I think that's so they can do iCloud functionality. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's yeah, there's just a, a column, you're right, for key storage and other than those three, everything else is the keys are on your trusted devices. You have to you can't have a device. I think everything needs to be on iOS 13 or newer in yeah, order yeah. to turn this on. I, Cause I have, I have a bunch of uh, old iPads that I use for like on stage or uh, to use with a mixer or whatever. Cause they don't need to be the latest and greatest. It works out fine. Yeah. But because I have those on my Apple ID, I have not been able to enable this yet. And you have to add, there's a bunch of requirements. You have to have two yeah. factor, you have to have, you know, but I think Apple's pretty much forced that across the board these days. And it, it it's would getting be hard less annoying to, with pass keys and stuff. 